guys, just draw you up for a second, I'm better than you can have. Just following on with this, the, the idea is that when we're rolling in, in cheeks, what we're trying to do is we need to make sure that while we're all thinking about the points, highest and lowest, any pressure that you need comes from the base of the forearm and the hands remain relaxed. And in connection with our sort of mentality, um, the technique that we just looked at is I can use a um, cow sound here as one technique where I could then punch. Now, the reason why I'm going to use cow sound, if I go for this as a gun, drop that down and punch, I might be hit. If I do a cow sound, I can keep this elbow up so I've got a bit of contact. So from this one I can hit, he could hit again there himself, but I'd have some kind of a cover. So we look at this as a stage one of, of this technique. So from here, I can lift to there, hit, that's the stage one. Stage two is where I might then need to cover. Um, stage three is where we can go straight into this. Now, if I, if I turn with the cow sound and hit, I'm more likely to get hit myself on that. So as soon as I'm turning with the cow sound, I'm then going to go for a gun. I'm going to cover this other hand, or a pack sound, really. But if he's relaxed, nice and relaxed, and I get this, I'm not going to get anything. That's just going to slip off. So there's no, um, I'm not receiving anything at all. Now. What I need to do is push with the base of the forearms. So I'm going to get a push going, push, push. I'm pushing him, and then the first one is when I turn, I'm encouraging that, that force to, to still, he's kind of, he's, he's almost kind of still reaching for, where's, where's that pressure going? Where is it? So again, I'm pushing with the forearms, stronger and stronger. And it's important that it's strong, because really what I'm trying to do is get him to overpower me a little bit. The first one then I can encourage, the second one even more so. So the first one encourages, the second even more so. I'm not doing the double gun, which I could do by just go, go. You know, like one, two, three, four. Use it this way, one, two, three, four. Um, going in this way. One, two, three, four. So we can see the four going in. Or maybe just to go one, two, so the covered and then hit. The thing about this though, if, I, if he's thinking forward to look Sao Chi Kyun, this lost hand straight punch, as soon as I let go of that, I might get hit. No, no, without the pull. That's it. So as soon as I let go of it, it might end up being a hit for a hit. So I don't want to do that. So that's why you may find keeping the elbow high gives you some, that little bit more protection with it. So again, with this one, I'm going to turn. But unless he, if he's relaxed, I'm not going to get anything. I'm not going to get that him searching for, for to, to get that energy again. So we need to make sure it's consistent. I'm going to push, push, push. Then he searches for it. The second one encourages it. So it's a principle on that that we're looking at. The same can be said for the um, hack sound technique. This is then what we, we moved on to. Um, that if I push and he matches that, so he's matching with an equal amount of force, I can pack sound. That gives me something now to move. If I pack you jam, so you can switch energy on at that point, here, here. But if it's already turned on, so I tricked him into switching on, then he's got nothing left. And that's what I'm doing here, if I push a little bit. If I push a little bit and he, he matches that, I can pack. If I push and he overpowers me and he's stronger than me, then I'll take it down as a come. If I push and he gives me nothing, he just absorbs it, and I'll go in with it anyway. So depending on what I'm going to get, he's going to give me this feel. So again, if I push and he's relaxed, and it draws in, then I'm going to go with that. If he matches it, then I'm going to pack. Um, so a gun out into the body. The second one, a pack out across. If he pushes and he's stronger than me, maybe I'll use it. A bit like a jut, I'm going to draw him in. So again, depending on that feel. And the same is said for this, in, uh, again, going back to this half and half. If I'm pushing, and, and he doesn't want to play ball. If I push and he's just relaxed, as I push, he relaxes, well, I'm in anyway. So it doesn't matter. So if I push forwards and he just goes floppy and draws in towards himself here, then I'm going to be able to hit. If he pushes and I match it, then from there, I'm going to keep the elbow high and just go for a singular technique. If I push and he's stronger and overpowers me, then goes really strong that I'm going to make him go and then pick up speed with that. A little bit like a cow boxing down again. So the principle is, and this is why we get this locks out jikun, locks out jikun, lost hand straight punch. If I have a contact here and I push, there's match, he's just matching it, so I'll pack. If I push again, he absorbs, then I'm going to go forwards. If I push and he pulls, then I'm going to go with it. So depending on where that goes, if it comes this way, I'm going to go with it. Matches, moving out the way, move the obstacle across. 
absorbs and move in with it. So this is the thing, we need to feel forward and back what's going on. And that's what kind of gives you that, that third dimension as well to your training. It's not just up and down and side to side. We're going to feel this forwards and backwards as well. So these are really key issues um, which we need to put in all of our cheese and all of our techniques. But that's, that's a good little exercise to try with the pack as well. From here, I'm going to push and see what's given. Because added to all of this as well <clears throat> is that I need to know my limits. Because what if I push and he just laps me? Oh, too strong, I shouldn't have done that. Because when I push, again, the point of the elbow, any pressure comes from the base of the forearm, the hand remains relaxed. Again, I'm going to push, and you match it first, so I push stronger, go stronger, 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 and then lap me whenever you like. There's nothing on that. Push strong, go on, and then lap it. Because there's nothing on my hand. My push, my pressure is coming from the base of the hand at this point. You know, so I'm still able to do that. My hand is relaxed because it's not time for me to use the power in the hand until it's time to use the power in the hand. You know, so do anything you want in Chi Sao as long as you get away with it and it's your choice. And if you're going to do a technique, don't do anything you can recover from. So again, if I push, he might absorb, I'll chase that in. I'll push, he might match, I'll do a pack out. I'll push, he might overpower, I'm going to either do a jump or a pull, just as an idea. But I don't want to push so much that I can't control that switch off myself because that becomes my problem, not his. Thanks, Rudolph. Cheers, man. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thank you.